Phuket Extra is brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort. Chill in the sun, sip under the stars. Salud Krap and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort Phuket. I'm JP Mistanza, and here's the news you need to know. The Sea Gypsies in Rawai are no doubt still rejoicing at yesterday's legal victory. The Saw Phuket Provincial Court dismissed the case against the four GC Gypsies who were accused of unlawfully occupying the beachfront. The four men were sued by a group of others who claimed to be descendants of the original owner of the 12 Rai plot of land in the deep south of Phuket, and they had hoped to turn the area into a resort. Among the evidence used to claim the Sea Gypsy's right to the land was a photograph from His Majesty the late King Bumibol Dulyade, which shows the village back in 1959 and proved they had not encroached on the land. Tension around the legality of the Sea Gypsies claiming the land had been going on for years, sometimes erupting into violence, but yesterday's court ruling has put the issue to bed, at least until an appeal is filed. And Phuket Governor Chuk Chai Decha Mortan is adamant that the Phuket light rail project will finally roll out in 2021, but he wants your feedback before they move ahead with plans and contract bidding. The governor is calling on Phuketians, both tourists and locals, to voice their opinions on what they would like to see in the light rail project. A meeting will be held at the Talang District Office on February 6th and again at the Widget Municipality Office on February 7th. The 30 billion baht project is expected to start at Tanun in Pangna province and end at the Chelong Circle, passing the Phuket International Airport and continue along Tepkasachi Road. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. And the Australian DJ who was caught back in 2014 with 61 ecstasy pills in Pattaya, well, he's now being transferred to Nontaburi's notorious Bangkwan prison, also known as the Bangkok Hilton, to serve out the rest of his sentence. 26-year-old Jake Mastrani is serving two life sentences for possession of ecstasy with intent to sell. And although his legal team has been trying to get him back to Australia, there's been little progress with that. Bangkwan Prison is known as Death Row and Execution Chamber of Thailand, where prisoners get just a bowl of rice a day and have to wear leg irons daily for the first three months. And stay right there. Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Strength and conditioning classes, Phuket only official CrossFit, yoga, basic and Olympic lifting, mobility and recovery classes, ice baths, saunas, and free weights. Go hard or go home. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. In an attempt to stamp out position buying within the Royal Thai Police Force ranks, Prime Minister Prayu Chanucha is expected to use his Section 44 of the Interim Charter to restructure the police reshuffling procedure. Every year, thousands of officers within the Royal Thai Police are transferred to different posts around the country, but there have been allegations of officers paying large amounts of cash to buy noteworthy positions and appointments. The new process would have the National Police Chief Chaktip Chaijinda had the final say on appointments and transfers, though that has yet to be confirmed. The move comes just under two months after nearly 300 police applicants had allegedly cheated on the police entrance examination. And it was a very happy Chinese New Year for Phuket as 5 billion baht was generated during the recent holidays, up 15% from just last year. The Chinese New Year festival began over the weekend and so far the Phuket Chamber of Commerce revealed that the 5 billion baht in revenue has been mostly through restaurants and hotels. The Phuket Chamber of Commerce is still collecting the information from hotels, tour companies, and restaurants, and they expect the number to increase with the start of the Phuket Old Town Festival tomorrow, February 2nd, which ends February 4th. And that's it for Phuket Extra today, but before we go, we want to know, what would you like to see in the Phuket Light Rail Project? Do you have any suggestions? Let us know in the comments. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. Until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. Tranquility, serenity, and exclusivity. Banyan Tree Phuket's afternoon high tea is where casual encounters become lifelong memories. 
meet old friends, get to know new ones, and mingle amongst the sprawling view of the Tranquil Lagoon. With unique sweet and savory treats and exclusive options from the private collection of the owner of Dilma, this is high tea the way it should be. Laugh, mingle, and sip at the Banyan Tree Phuket, an unforgettable experience.